So when I hit play, it shows that it's going to take 35 hours and 13 minutes. Now this is the longest print that I've ever had to do um, for one piece. I've done some pieces that have taken a while, but never All right, so basically, um, I was saying that this is probably the longest print that I've had to do for one singular piece. I've done some big projects, but this is the first time that like one piece took like over 30 hours. Anyway, so this is how the print turned out with the tree supports inside of it. I had to use tree supports for um, the head and the ear. This is what it looked like with the supports. It turned out great. I was very pleased. I had no fails on the first attempt. So then once I took the tree supports out, this is what it looks like. So that's just the hollow head without tree, without any of the supports or anything else inside of it. Um, so this is what the jaw piece along with the teeth and tongue looks like. You can see like there's a lot of definitive lines on it. I had to sand those really good to get that smooth. And these are like the eyes. The eyelids and then the like other small supporting pieces for like the jaw and eye and movement um, that's the eyebrow so that's what the pieces look like this is after I had began sanding it I think I had gotten the eyelids sanded pretty good at this point and maybe the hair but I still had a long way to go um, but I was just showing what it looked like when you slide the eye plate in um, I just want to make sure all the pieces fit that's also when I had knocked down a lot of the lines on the jaw and then this is a priming so apparently I had gotten done sanding primed then this is when I started painting um, all the pieces that had the skin tone this is after I painted the eyes and had them in place on the little um, eye tray and then I had painted the teeth and tongue um, on this part and then fit it off into the jaw I had painted the lower lip and then that's when I added the detail of the cracked chin Okay, so here I had put everything in place, but it hadn't been bolted in. I hadn't secured it. I was holding it with my hands. So the jaw, mouth, all of that had been painted and primed and clear coated. Um, and that's what the eye tray looked like. So this is the rig system that I designed. So the print turned out really wonky. I had to print that a couple of times, but I'm showing how it fits inside the head. Um, and that's where all the strings are going to be rigged from at the top of the head. I did have to design this piece. It did not come with the template of the head at all. This is something I designed in Shaper 3D. Um, and it sits in the head like that and all the strings kind of flow around it, through it, over it. Um, so that way that they can, they can move upward and then downward. Um, I used a lot of springs and strings to make everything move. But that little piece had to be designed and printed by me. Um, and then this is when I got the rig stick printed and put in. So the stick, you can see kind of at the bottom of the head. At this point, I had secured the jaw and had put the springs in place. I had secured the eyes, but I hadn't done the pivot for the eyes yet. So the eyes were kind of like free moving. They weren't moving simultaneously. They were moving like on their own. And I think I showed an example. Oh, I had put the springs for the, for the eyelids as well. But like the eyes could move in two different directions at this point because the pivot hadn't been put in place yet. But um, so once I got the springs and stuff in for the jaw, of course, the jaw stays closed until you move it to make it open. So you can see right there, the spring is already bolted into the bottom of the head for the jaw. And so the opposite side is where you put the string that you'll pull to open it. Um, this is me showing an example of how the eyes were free moving until you got them pivoted. So at this point, everything was pivoted. Everything was rigged down to the stick, right? So I had all my little switches in place that I also printed. I'm showing how everything moves with the stick. Um, eyebrows were done. I had already rigged those. Um, the only thing I was waiting for at this point was to get the body printed and then get everything sewn together. Um, also needed to print the hands so the first attempt at printing the hands failed miserably I used tree supports to print the hands um, and they they failed um, so when I went in to check on my hand print they were like it was spaghetti at the end so it, I think they printed like 75% of the way and then just collapsed so I had to reprint them they turned out 
okay but it took a lot of sanding so with the hands I created this little sleeve that I use a zip tie to secure to the hand and then I stuffed it and then my mother-in-law she helped me sew this because I don't I have no clue how to sew so she helped me sew the little sleeve that was going to become the arm um, and then we I zip tied it to the hand we stuffed it and then she put like a stitch across the middle of it so that we could bend and fold the arm um, and so that's what made makes the arm bendable is because we put a stitch across the middle so that's her stitching the middle there we've gotten it stuffed on the, the front half she's gonna put a stitch across and I'll, I'll, I'll uh, stuff the back half and then she stitches it and then I secure it to the body with a staple gun and some Gorilla Glue so this is what it looks like when it's done and I'm going to this is we did the same thing for the leg except for for the foot I created like a sock so that if his pants were to ride up he would see the sock and not like you know the little thing so that's where I stapled it to the body and gorilla glued it um so that's what it looks like the body I had to create as well it's not something that came with it I had to create that um and so yeah this is what it looks like when it's all together the little suit I did purchase off of Amazon it's a toddler suit y'all it's a 4T so that tells you how big this dummy is. It's huge. So the suit is a 4T. I purchased a bow tie as well as the boutonniere. All that came from Amazon. Um, I had every intention to create the suit and all that. But at this point, I was ready to be done. So I'm just showing how everything looks all put together. My son plays with it a good bit. And if it's going to be in use, you got to expect that it'll have some chips in the paint. So you can't see some of those imperfections, but he's happy with it. I'm happy with it. I feel like I did a good job and I'm proud of it. Let me know what you think.